Damaging and dangerous tonight. Severe storms take down trees and flood streets. And right now, traffic on our busiest bridge is at a standstill after winds were strong enough to flip a tractor trailer. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. We'll have team coverage on the damage in the area in just a moment. But we want to get right to Lonnie Quinn because part of our area is under a tornado watch right now. Lonnie. You betcha. And they've extended that tornado watch now until 1 o'clock in the morning. We're talking about the area anywhere from Morris County south. Right all the way down through Ocean County. That's until 1 a.m. A tornado watch. Now a watch means it's not happening right now, but all the puzzle pieces are in line and it could happen. Elsewhere, see the area here shaded in orange. We have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for portions of the Hudson Valley, also for uh, all five boroughs of the city and the areas right outside the city. That's until 11:30. Severe thunderstorm warning means the storms of severe storms are taking place as we speak. Now you look here on the vortex satellite and radar picture. This is the worst that this storm has to offer, and it's just making its way through the area as of right now. Uh, let's take a peek at this because this is probably the biggest thing I can share with you. We talk about tornado watches. Have we had any reports of tornadoes? We have not. No reports. However, look at all the rotation that we're seeing in the atmosphere. Radar indicated tornado, uh, uh, rotation. If you see a green spinning arrow, way high in the atmosphere. Uh, atmosphere yellow, a little closer to the ground. Red, it has not touched down, but boy, it's close out there. And if you look at the vortex satellite and radar, uh, a place like Parsippany, New Jersey, right now, dealing with the skinny part of this line, you're only dealing with it for about 20 minutes or so. You look at the Fra like Franklin, New Jersey. I mean, you've got this long line that's going to train right over your area. That's a good hour to an hour and a half of hard storms out there. We'll talk more about what's going on and what hold what this holds for tomorrow in just a bit. But Christine, right now, let's go back to you. Okay, Lonnie, this right now gives you an idea. Of just how strong those winds are tonight. Police believe the winds are responsible for knocking over this tractor trailer on the upper level of the George Washington Bridge. Right now, it's blocking all outbound lanes. Thankfully, no one was seriously hurt, but traffic certainly is backed up for miles. And the damage is widespread from flooding to downed trees and power lines. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco live now in North Brunswick. Tracy. The rain just started picking up again right now. We've even seen some lightning within the past few minutes. But behind me, take a look. Crews are working to repair an area where a tree fell down on some power lines. This storm causing damage all around the area. Heavy rain soaked people as they walked in New Brunswick, New Jersey tonight. Umbrellas providing little to no relief. The rain also caused ponding and flooding in some areas, like here in South Brunswick, at Raymond Road and Route 1 southbound. Drivers splashing through it. Along with the rain came the whipping winds, only intensifying as the night continued. Wind so strong, this tree snapped and came down on wires at Route 27 and Omaha Road in North Brunswick. Traffic was shut down as crews worked. At LaGuardia Airport, a construction barrier blew over onto a yellow taxi, damaging the window. The driver was not injured. A fiery scene in Elmsford, Westchester County, after live power lines fell onto the wet road. And earlier, the wet weather caused some alarming moments on a busy street in Elizabeth, New Jersey, when manholes started exploding. Cell phone video captured one of them. You can see the metal cover flying several feet into the air, narrowly missing people and cars. Now, residents next to this tree tell me they did not lose power, but it's unclear how long the road will be blocked off and how long these crews will be here tonight. We're live tonight from North Brunswick, New Jersey. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. Okay, Tracy, let's now.